Welcome to part 59 of GTA San Andreas, and in this part I'm going to not only show off the final missions of the Wayne cars, but I am showing off Katie, the most important girlfriend in this game. Katie will only go out with you if you have muscles and sex appeal. She loves driving around the Pleasure Dome and the lower half of San Fierro near Pier 69. And she loves restaurants, but not fast food restaurants. But she hates reckless driving, despite how sarcastic she sounds. But more importantly, she'll only ask you to dance maybe once or twice. So don't expect her to dance. Mostly, it'll be taking her to a restaurant and more than likely taking her around the town. So on that note, you want her as your girlfriend as she will get you a free revival and you'll be able to keep your weapons and your money. So on that note, I'll see you guys at the start of the part. And we are back. Now it's time to start the final Wang's car mission. This bad which makes me a it man. can be easy if you can actually get it quickly, but this one can be a doozy. Ladies and gentlemen, our final mission in San Fierro, Puncture Wounds. Hey man, where you been? I tricked one of the cars on our shopping list. But the crazy bitch, she dressed like the devil! I've been following her for hours, but she stopped for nothing. You'd have to ram her off the road in order to get a chance to get her car, and you know a wrecked car is no good to us. I swear she's playing with me. Dude, calm down. If she playing with you, then she probably won't get one time involved until it turn ugly. We gotta find a way to stop her or slow her down. Too bad we can't involve the police. Cause then we could pop her crazy bitch tires and bang her crazy bitch ass in jail for being a danger to my sanity. You know what? I think I got an idea. Alright, here's the gist of this mission. You have three stingers, and you're gonna have to catch this woman driving like a lunatic, and hopefully use one of well three, done. possibly Brilliant all of drive. them, to catch this woman. However, here's the catch of this. If you use up all three and you fail to catch the woman, well, you pretty much fail the mission. If the woman successfully makes it to Angel Pines, you fail the mission. If the, either your car with the stingers in it, or the woman's car blows up, you fail the mission. And obviously, if you want it or bust it, then you fail the mission. Now, what you want to do is try to maintain your speed and catch up to the woman and get in front of her car to drop the stinger. The thing is, once you get close enough to this lady, she's going to swerve like a mad woman. She'll be driving all recklessly into traffic. There has been many a times that I've played this mission in the past that she literally tried to evade me but end up driving off of a bridge. Hence why I say that the car was destroyed whether it's by your means or by the driver's means, the missions failed. But as you can see here, it only took one stinger, and a well-placed stinger at that, to pretty much subdue the car. Hey, CJ, how's it going with that crazy bitch, eh? Popped her. Just about to fix the tire. Should be back any minute. Okay, careful with that puncture repair shit. It's nasty stuff. Will do. Later, man. Man, stuff is disgusting. Oh shit, all over my clothes. And with that, it's time to return this car back to the garage. With a fresh set of tires. And repairs done to the car. Now, if there's any other damages done to this car, 
you can take it to a pay and spray and pretty much fix the damages and it will not hit your award. In fact, coming back to the garage with the car with damage just won't hit your award as it did the other mission. Now, and I bet you're wondering what I mean by hit my award. I meant it won't take a hit to you. You're gonna get 4,000 regardless. Sadly, you're not gonna get the car that gave you the uh, spike strip. So, that's completely out of the question. Now then, the only thing that's left now is to give my final thoughts to San Fierro. It's a beautiful town. I had my ups, I had my downs. There were some easy missions, there were some ridiculously hard missions that I eventually made look easy. And there was me almost drowning, drowning in amphibious assault. But still, I've had my fun here. And we will say goodbye to San Fierro in this part. Also, the rewards! Because of what I'm doing, we will get an $8,000 asset. And on top of that, the car we're driving right now will be available in Wayne's Cars for me to literally walk into the showroom and steal. And now, we just head straight back to Doherty. As it stands, this will be the last time we'll see San Fierro ever again. Unless there's some mission that brings us here, which I highly doubt. So, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, sit back, relax, enjoy the ride. I really hope that this video does not get blocked by a certain troll company because of the fact of the music. And mission successful. Just park it and go. Ah, it says, oh god, I couldn't really read that. But anyway. And just like the asset in Grove Street before we were brought to Whetstone, you have to basically build up that asset until it reaches 8,000. So the next time we meet, we go to Fiera Robata to see what the stranger has about our brother. See you guys next time.